Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious mayonnaise chocolate cake. You heard me right. That was a mayonnaise chocolate cake and we only got a few simple ingredients that we're going to be using in this recipe today. And what's so lovely about this cake, you can make it for your up and coming birthday, anniversary or special occasion. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get started. So what we're going to be using here is one cup of mayonnaise. So you're just going to pour it on into your bowl. Now this is your oil, this is your egg. That, that's all we're going to use in this. That's everything here. One cup of mayonnaise and three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And we're going to be tossing in there one teaspoonful of vanilla. Mix this together now, and that's all you need to do there. Then we're going to blend in here one cup of water, room temperature water, and you're going to mix that in through. And that's all you need to do there. We're going to be sifting in two cups of all purpose flour and two teaspoonfuls of baking soda and a half a teaspoonful of sea salt or salt of choice. And just start sifting it. Sift it on in like that. That'll give it that nice texture. Taking all of the ingredients and that's all you need to do there. Now we're going to toss in there four tablespoonfuls of cocoa powder. Now you're going to blend all of this together. That's all you need to do there. So you're just going to mix all of those ingredients together until they're blended. You don't want to over mix it. Now I'm going to be reaching for my bunt pan, but you could use whatever pan you got available. I'll show you that. So I'm going to be using this bunt pan for making our cake, our mayonnaise chocolate cake. So let's do that. So you want to lightly grease your pan first and then we're going to take all of this delicious batter and scoop out into the pan. So twist it just like that. Well, Raymond's going to help there, guys. There we go. I'm not going to man behind the camera yet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's all you need to do, dear. I'm going to put this bowl down. It's pretty heavy. Then you're going to smooth it out into your pan. Now this don't look like much, but this with the baking soda, it rises up to about right there in my pan. A really nice cake. Now I'm going to tell you how long you need to bake it for. So now we're going to set our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put the timer on for 35 minutes. It could take a little longer. It won't take less, but it could take a little longer, anywhere from 35 minutes to, I'd say, 45 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to make a delicious chocolate icing, boiled chocolate icing, and I'll tell you about that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make our homemade chocolate icing. And this is a bald icing. I'm not going to show you how to start to make it. I'm going to share that link with you. And that will be uh, rhubarb muffins with a bald icing. So this is what the result would be as a paste. And um, I'll also leave the recipe here in under this video for you. So now what we'll do, we'll make the icing. So what I mean but it's almost like a paste. So this is what it'll look like when it comes to a room temperature. And this is just the boiled icing part. You would need half a cup of butter or margarine, room temperature. We're going to blend this together and then I'll talk a little bit about your paste. So you just need to blend up the butter. So the boiled icing that I'm going to share with you uh, in the top 
right hand corner, the link, um, is for a white ball icing. So all you need to do is add in the cocoa powder while it's boiling and it gives you like an hot cocoa taste. So we're just going to slowly paste, a, scoop in a small amount of the paste at a time and mix it all in with the butter. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this in um, different sets, so m multiple times. So I'll just show you this amount until it's all in there. So just like you said, scoop it up, put it in, blend it until it's all in. This paste, I call it, uh, that comes from your boiled icing. Um, it's so tasty. I can just eat it just like this, but it, at this point, it's not your icing, it's just the paste. The icing comes from adding the butter, mixing it all in, and it's delicious. So again, it'll be your choice if you wanted to use the, the chocolate version, or if you wanted to make it, just leave it white. That's all you need to do there, and your icing is nice and creamy. I'm going to put this in the fridge to let it uh, harden up a little tiny bit while I'm waiting for my cake to come out, and then I'll show you the big reveal when it's done. Our mayonnaise cake is baked. Now I'm going to remove it from the oven and show you what it looks like. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Now this is what our delicious mayonnaise cake, mayonnaise chocolate cake looks like. I'm going to let them cool for just a little bit. We'll flip them out onto the grate and we'll get icing. Nice. So my cake took 35 minutes. But again, if it takes a little bit longer for you, that's fine. You just leave it in there. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. I hope you're excited about making your mayonnaise chocolate cake today. Um, we also got recipe on there for tomato soup cake. We make unusual cakes here in Newfoundland and Labrador because it's got simple ingredients. They're delicious and good for any occasion. And as well, a big shout out to anyone that's celebrating a birthday anniversary today. This cake is for you. We'll get him decorated now and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm just going to put my cake out onto a platter. We get a top of it icing and put a few sprinkles over it. Then she's done. Okay, so there's no magical way about icing this. You decide what you want to do and of course what pen you're going to um, make your cake in. But I'm just going to give it a rough icing here and and again, if you decide to go with the boiled uh, icing, I'll share the link. And during making it, because the one that I'm going to share with you is out to make the white one, and it just add in the cocoa powder, and the recipe is under this video. That's all you need to do there. So I'm just like I said, giving it a little rough icing. This is a delicious icing, and it's not too sweet it's sweet any icing is a little sweet but it just blends in with this mayonnaise cake because the cake actually is so delicious I'm gonna cut a piece off here very shortly and show you and that's about all I'm going to do with this delicious cake too good to eat so that's all I'm going to do there I got some chocolate that I grated, dark chocolate with, and I guess it's, uh, it's non-sweetening or semi-sweetening it's called. So you're just going to toss that there and then I'll show you, I'm going to make a little art on the side. That's all you need to do there. And just take it up. And I'll do the same on this side just to make it fancy. So again, happy birthday, happy anniversary to anyone out there celebrating today. We're thinking of you and this cake today for mayonnaise chocolate cake is for you. Now let's just cut off a delicious piece. Now just 
just look how easy it is to cut into this cake. It's so moist and delicious. And inside, there it is, the big reveal, mayonnaise chocolate cake. Well, I hope you're interested in making your own mayonnaise chocolate cake today. And again, we are so excited to bring this one to you today because I'm always looking for a nice cake recipe and this one is it. So delicious. Just look how tender it is. I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I had to have a sip of my tea because I couldn't talk with my mouth full. I can't wait to finish it and I know Raymond is waiting over mm -hmm. there. We can sing happy birthday, but that is a long dragged out process. So again, happy birthday, happy anniversary to anyone out there celebrating today. Our recipe is posted in under this link here on YouTube. You can also visit us on our website www.bonitaskitchen.com and as well on our Facebook page. So we won't keep you much longer. I will share those links with you for the boiled icing. It will be with my rhubarb uh, muffins and boiled icing. And I'll also share the tomato soup cake if that one interests you. That one is a while back. Delicious as well. And again, the recipe subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. So we know your time is precious. Thank you so much for joining us here today. On behalf of myself and Raymond, you stay safe from our kitchen to yours. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to join us again join on Bonita's Kitchen. Sea, our journey in culinary, always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours. Bonita's Kitchen. Bonita's kitchen.